You ready for another story? ¿Listo para otro? And my father is 38 years deceased. Mi padre murió hace 38 años. And I was 26 when he died. Tenía yo 26. And um, it was the difficulty was la dificultad fue uh, as an only child. Como hijo único. Um, I don't think he ever realized how close I was to him. I think he was afraid sometimes of getting close to me. He was afraid of me. My father was afraid that I might tell him I didn't want him in my life. Now that's, there's a challenge. And uh, my mother begged me never to get into a situation where you know he might feel that that's what I was going to say so um, at the funeral and at, at that time I was a teacher in a high school the priest who was going to do the actual funeral mass shared with me that he didn't know what, how he was going to approach the homily. And, you know, and I, I looked at him and said, well, that's simple, I'll write it for you. I was a teacher, I wasn't a priest. And he just stared at me and he says, really? To which I said, yes, really, I will. And I did. And then I went over uh, with it to him. I said, now we have to practice this. This is we're practicing a homily. I said, oh yes, this homily comes with actions. <laughs> this one really does, comes with actions. And so, I, um, the reading I had chosen for the funeral mass for my father was the judgment scene in Matthew's Gospel. There's an awful lot of priests who never want to use that one. Because they, they just don't want to talk about the judgment. Go figure. I said, what becomes, so the homily is based on that. So that becomes important. Now, what most of you already know is I'm an adopted child. Okay. At that time, most people didn't know I was an adopted child. Go figure. Yeah, it was a certain time you just didn't talk about it. Yep, they just didn't talk about it. And that's why my father was afraid that I might disown him because he wasn't my natural father. Por eso que papá tenía miedo que yo lo no lo reconociera porque no era mi padre. You don't. You don't what, we have a phrase in English. You don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I don't know how you say that in Spanish. You do. You don't look a gift if. If a horse is given to you as a gift, you don't start examining its teeth. That's what, that's what it is. It's a gift. It's a pure gift. That, that's where I was coming from. It's a pure gift. He was afraid I would disown him. And, you know, step away from him. And so, so I didn't. I never once raised the issue, even when we got into very serious arguments. Uh, it, it, it was not something I would even think of saying. Just wouldn't think of saying. It. However, so the uh, priest is finishes the gospel, and he comes down. From the pulpit, it was one of the cathedral, one of the old style cathedrals. So he comes down from the pulpit, goes down into the, into the body of the church, and then he starts his homily. And so I stand up, and I walk up to the front here. And so he starts giving his homily. And he says, I need, to put, I need to start with quoting the scripture again. So he, this is what I had him do. Dad's remains were here. This is casket, his coffin was there. I was there. So this is what he did. When I was hungry, you fed me. 